God. What's up guys, this is Justin from Justice League Swag and I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my uh, Dark States Violence Bruce deck. Uh, I'm doing this deck profile because a lot of people asked about it. Uh, I've been coming in first and second with this deck over the past three weeks when I actually played in the tournament. So it's pretty good. So st uh, starting with the uh, right line, it's pretty standard. Uh, Matt, Steve, Richard, and Bruce. Uh, grade threes, I'm going to do first. Uh, we have three more violence bursts. Uh, this guy's pretty stable. You want to run it because Persona rides <clears throat> are usually your kill turns if you can hold out against all your opponent's attacks. Uh, a lot of times with this deck, with the Persona Ride and uh, the next grade 3 I'm going to show you, I've killed people on my first Final Rush turn. So if you mulligan, like how I play the deck, I hard mulligan for these. If I don't get a Bruce in my first hand or a Marjorie, I put everything back that's not a uh, Bruce or Marjorie. Because a lot of the stuff that you like grab in the deck, you don't, it doesn't really matter. You just want the Persona Ride so you can kill. Uh, this is also another good kill card. Uh, Hellblast Full Dive. Turns I've Persona Road and played this card in the uh, same turn have helped me finish people unless they like damage check the over trigger or something would be like the only thing that saved them. Otherwise, this like coincides with the Persona Ride or in turns that you didn't get the Persona Ride, this helps you give 10k to the front row. Cause that's what you really need for like a lot of your restanding because the worst thing that you want to do like now you don't want to play like a double Marjorie turn for more than one turn in a row just because you can deck out faster like a lot of like my round losses with this deck is just because of decking out you have to be really careful and picky about when you play certain combos all right next up for grade threes Marjorie, the girl, she is finally at four. I used to run her at three, but now she's so detrimental to the soul thing for Final Rush. It's like you kind of have to uh, run her at max because anybody that's really good or smart, they're not going to let Leonard hit. They'll drop their whole hand before they let Leonard hit. Or if you're short on soul and need Leonard to hit, it could kind of hurt you for the turn if your opponent protects all of their rear guards or their vanguard lane so marjorie's a guaranteed way to build up that soul and you're not playing the colossus anyway anymore so or with this build so this helps you get there so you could double marjorie if you need to get the soul up and she's like best grade three in the deck besides bruce uh, then I play one other card that helps me get sold just in case if I'm in a bad spot, which I've been in before, where you can just pop up to five quick. But lastly, for grade threes, I'm playing uh, two special violence shell. This is really good if you go first because on your you just have to be on Bruce for the the ability the blitz order to give you 20k power so it's really good when your opponent's getting their first grade three turn and you're playing against magnolia or something that could crank out a lot of damage fast and has like odd hitting numbers so it's really good if you go first uh grade two lineup first up the new boy on the team uh Leonard. this guy now is like a perfect guard a lot of times if uh your opponents can't kill you they'll swing at him instead and it's like if you have more in your hand like just let it go because it's like you don't absolutely need leonard to win but he's really good to crank out more attacks there's actually a attack loop that you can use with him and protobub uh while attacking but i'm not using protobub in this deck build because this deck build is all around power that's why if you, uh if you've seen all of the cards so far just give me a ton of power for a uh, final rush but the loop with leonard is uh after you swing with the other the other column on restain you swing and boost with a protobub use the protobub skill to put that card 
from your rear guard into soul then grab a card from soul to hand then if you hit anything with leonard you can call something out to that open rear guard that can still attack and if you're on a uh, persona ride turn that card that pops out is going to also gain the 10 uh 10k power which essentially gives you six attacks in that one turn but the only problem is he has to hit <laughs> he has to have enough targets to hit easier but this is kind of the ace of the deck now just because people will go out of their way to try to kill it and his uh, ability to soul charge and hit early does pop off Early, if you're kind of like in a bad spot with soul. Uh, next, oh, well, lastly for grade twos, I'm running three Eden. Eden's pretty good, and he's a good finisher because of the restaining crit. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to bump him back up to four just so I can have him for early game because he's another target that gets attacked. I don't know why people don't attack Marjorie as much. I feel like Marjorie is like more detrimental to the deck's goal than Leonard or Eden, but hey. Who am I? Uh great one lineup. I'm running four perfect guards. I need the foil out the last one. Dark States perfect guards. Uh next up the great ones. I am only playing Three Mabel. Three Mabel because I kept decking out. It's like between Marjorie and Mabel, Mabel, you gain so much advantage and like you're emptying your deck with it. And Marjorie's not actual advantage because what Marjorie is doing is they're taking a card from your field, which more than likely you place there that turn onto the field in order to get off Marjorie's skill and then draw a card from deck while also soul charging one. So she gives you a soul charge from field, a soul charge from deck, and a draw, which is a minus two from deck. All I look at is the minuses from deck. Like uh the Mabel is a minus one from deck, but she is a actual plus while Marjorie is a quasi plus. But uh, running it at four, I saw it too much, and I mostly used it for the ride deck. And you don't need Mabel to win. You just need Mabel to out advantage your opponent. So if you see one, you only need the one. It only goes behind the Vanguard. So just three. But Mabel is really good. Uh, next, uh, Acrobat is my other unit I use for Soul. This is pretty good because it's like if it goes into the soul off of any other ability and a Leonard hit, you can pop it out of soul to the field to boost to get uh, the two extra soul you need. Or like a lot of times what I'll do is my opponent will start swinging at my rear guards because I only have one soul uh, when they could have actually won the game, but they're trying to prevent that final rush. So I'd have one of these boys and a Marjorie in hand and that helps you instantly get to five because he soul charges too. The reason why I'm running him at two instead of three or four is because he has to soul charge on boost or attack when you're in final rush. And a lot of times that can lose you the game because you don't want to soul charge anymore or you don't need to. Uh, lastly for great ones, I am running... Three Gear Dober. This is really good for uh, the power version of the deck that I'm trying to play because on top of Persona Riding and uh, Hellblast, you can give a unit after boosting uh, 10k. So usually what I'll do on this is toss this behind Leonard. Swing with Leonard. If Leonard hits anything, I'll Soul Blast and I'll call a bad Steve out of Soul behind a Marjorie. Uh, if he doesn't hit the skulls in the soul and that's fine i give the 10k to leonard if it doesn't hit but it's like with this deck you kind of got to change like your plays based on what happens so if it doesn't hit i want to give the 10k power to leonard because on leonard's restand i want him to be able to hit something so i can superior call something from soul and this also gives you a plus one to soul but it's still a minus one to field so it kind of hurts Marjorie. So it, it puts you in a situation where if you only have something boosting uh, your Vanguard, which should be Mabel and Gerdober, where you have to use Marjorie's skill on your Leonard after you've done all your extra attack. And so you, in that scenario, you would make Marjorie your last attack. So... It's pretty good, uh, but again, this is just for the power, 
power build and there's really no right or wrong way to build uh decks now because we have so many resources where you can play anything any type of way uh but now i'm gonna do the trigger lineup uh for natalia uh it's the front way you just love it for bruce especially uh bruce texas because if your opponent gets gets to go first a lot of times with bruce you lose because your opponent has two grade three turns where they're doing their skills and doing all that fancy stuff before you even get to do your final rush so this really helps the deck and it's like no way i like i usually discard this to go through the rod deck i do not do that like you you keep this card. like even in mulligan you could keep this card if you're going second so it helps survive your opponent's grade three turns so we only play this uh the forefront and we're playing it because of the shield that's all otherwise i would just play more crits uh for my mind love the arts uh for ariana love the arts three flinty slasher and then lastly over trigger probably need the sp yet. but yeah if you have any questions or concerns uh just comment below and we'll get to you but yeah this is the power build i'm going to be doing a different build for it later just because i like i really like playing the deck but i like playing it different ways and this this deck can go uh on the long run which is what i want but you also run have that risk of decking out so with the power you want to kill people as soon as uh, possible if you can swing vanguard always swing vanguard until you can't hit vanguard but uh please like and subscribe peace